Okay, so the recording sign is on. You want me to go slow? Was I fast last time? Okay, I will uh, start with meiosis. In between, I will again, uh, the last time we did cell cycle and we did the mitosis. So we will be dealing the, uh, partially mitosis, so mitosis process again within meiosis. Okay, so it would be kind of a revision. Oh, okay. So, all right. Okay, so going to the meiosis part, given by the core term was given by Farmer and Moore. The difference is, well, in two letters, E and I, and mitosis, you have got I and T. So anyway, so the next cell division that is there, which is observed in the cells, okay, which is found within the cells that undergo to make new cells, is the meiosis. So what is there in meiosis? Okay, adenopause. I hope all are able to join in and able to hear me clearly. Okay, internet lag and all, hopefully no is trouble, fingers crossed. So, meiosis, now this is a complex, now this process of cell division that is there, which is there to achieve rejuvenation and recombination. Recombination basically is the meaning over here in this context is that we are recombining whatever arrangement is there, we are mixing it and re remaking it again. Okay, for example, you have an arrangement of five, ten chairs, so you are <coughs> rearranging it in a new combination way, jumbling up the numbers and all within that part. Now, rejuvenation. Can anyone make a guess about rejuvenation? Yes, Devangi, kind of renewal, kind of yes, Himansh Jain, regeneration, remaking, yeah, rejuvenate, refresh, recharged, something again renewed, all right? Since we are recombining it, since we are recombining the chromosomes in this, the, the genes in it, all right? So as a result, what we are getting, we are kind of, technically we can say, I'm getting a refreshed, renewed output or renewed product, or in this case, daughter cells, okay? Next, where in which cases will we see this kind of division? Meiosis is mainly observed with the process of making gametes. All right, wherever, whenever we, we see any process which will develop a formation of gamete, so meiosis is involved in that. Meiotic division results in formation of gametic cells which will participate later on in a reproduction process. Now, again, this division is again called as reductional division. Okay, this division is also called as reductional division. Reason being the genetic content that is there, the whole genome that is present within the cell is reduced to half when the daughter cells are formed. The daughter cells that form will contain half of the genetic quantity found within the parent cell which is participating in the process of meiosis in retrospect uh, in comparison to mitosis what we saw last week what we discussed last week in mitosis what happened was the daughter cells that were formed was having the same amount of chromosome same number of chromosome same amount of genome as the parents Okay, whatever the parents were having, they were having the same in the same arrangement in exact duplicate 
in every possible way, exact copy in every possible way. Same arrangement, same pattern, same folding, however it is arranged in the same thing, okay? In, but in the case of meiosis, so hence mitosis was called as equational division. Now meiosis is called as reduction because the nindotuses that are formed, they, they have reduced number of chromosome compared to the parent cells. Now, in this process, now the thing is, in this meiotic process, the cell is dividing twice. The divisional process of the cell takes place twice, but the replication process of DNA takes place one. This statement itself, in a way, summarizes the whole mitosis process. Since DNA replication is only once, that means if I was having 10 DNA in a cell, so during duplication, it becomes 20. Correct? So when the first division occurs, each of the daughter cells that will form will have 10 each. Now that those two daughter cells will again enter divisional process and that time they, it will be called, they, that time they will, the DNA is not getting replicated. So DNA is getting half. So 10, now new daughter cells that are formed the second division will have only five of the group, five of the DNA molecules each instead of 10. So you see how it is getting halved. So since DNA duplication is only once and the cell is dividing twice, so it results in formation of what we call it as four haploid cells. The cell entering in the division process, participating in the division process is deployed. And the end result that is there, end product that we are getting the four new cells are having half the chromosomal content is haploid, only one set each instead of two sets. Okay. So as I said, there are two successive divisions, one after the other. With, in between the two divisions, we will not see the interface pattern. We will not see that G1, G0, G2, S phase, what we just saw in the case of mitosis, what we, what we have discussed like before the cell enters, there is a phase where it undergoes a preparation. So but in, within the meiosis division, between the two successive division, between the two divisions of the meiosis, which is called as meiosis one and meiosis two, we will not see that, okay? Now meiosis one is called as reduction. <clears throat> In this reduction meaning, this is the first phase, the first stage of the meiotic division that is there. Before, during the first divisional process, the chromosomal content is becoming half. And the meiosis two that is there, equation, uh, that is equational division, equal, because whatever content is there has been divided into two. They are getting it equal. Both are having karyokinesis, cytokinesis. So karyokinesis is new. Last week, uh, I did not share name, you know? Okay. Okay, fine. I will check with Rahul sir and update you about it. Like what happened, okay? Till then, anyway, this is on display. So for your reference, you guys can take a screenshot if you want, or you can note down the points in your notebook if you are noting it in a notebook or a digital notebook that is in a Word file or something if you want, okay? I hope you guys are reading the textbook, you know, that NCERT textbook. So, <clears throat> Do read that too. Uh, coming back to this, what was I saying? Karyokinesis is the nuclear division, cytokinesis, the cytoplasmic division, where the cell literally divides into. No. Okay. So, uh, let me see the light box.
yeah so any query till here with this respect to what we discussed now Uh, okay, uh, Ananya said, no, Aditya said, you missed the last class. You will have to ask the Zeal manager about it, okay, whether it is uploaded on the YouTube channel or not. I'm not sure about it. Okay, rejuvenation, okay, so rejuvenation means in a way renewed. Uh, or regenerated remake as you guys mentioned it's quite correct okay basically see it's like uh, something we in this process what i said there is recombination Oops. okay so so in this case what is happening there is a cell which is having 46 chromosome Okay. Do the two cells formed by meiosis one go through the meiosis two and age? Uh, yes, yes. Once the cell has been formed from meiosis one, they will enter meiosis two and divide again. Is my voice still lagging? Okay, I hope you guys can see what I wrote on the screen. So there is, this is the cell. Okay, this after interface. Okay, it becomes 92. And I hope you guys understood why 92. Is my voice still lagging? Okay, did you guys understood why I wrote 92? in between sometimes lag okay do let me know okay good you understood because interface there is synthesis now what is happening in meiosis i'm giving a zest in meiosis one okay one m1 i'm saying two cells are formed this 92 again so divide so that means it will become 46 46 okay then in meiosis two this will again divide and get 23 and get 23 23 23 to have reductional division uh you didn't i didn't get your question to have reductional division for what okay so you guys see here what the uh, mitosis is happening. How sorry, not mitosis, meiosis. How it is happening? Okay. So, 46 is there in the normal cell diploid state. It becomes double. So 92 is there. 92 is not the chromosome number I'm talking. Okay. Chromosome number remains 46. So 92 is the DNA copies. So it becomes in 46, 46. So 23, 23, at the end, what is the result? So basically, 
you had this number at the end there is 23 so it is reductional hence it is also called as meios is called as reductional division okay so next is what happens now we will go in detail for the okay you were asking what karyokinesis is somebody asked about karyokinesis is so karyokinesis is that is this word karyokinesis is what here is see if you read these two words you will see that kinesis in both the cases same which means to cut now karyo means nucleus nucleus cyto over here means cytoplasm so karyokinesis means nuclear division is occurring the nucleus is participating and becoming two nucleus dividing and forming two nucleus okay cytoplasm that is cytokinesis means once the nucleus is divided two nucleus form then what is there we literally cut the cytoplasm into and divide and give it to each of these new cells that are formed that is a cytokinesis cytoplasm then divide okay no uh, uh okay going ahead coming to this meiosis 1 now in this case it is also the meiosis meiosis one that is is called heterotypic division reason being the chromosomal division that is there is separated is not uh, equally given to each of the cell okay okay hence hetero heterotypic the daughter cell that is forming is not having the same as the mother cell we will see so hence heterotypic so in this also before the cell enters before the cell enters what we have we have got interface so in this the cell will go through your g1 g2 and your g no there is no sorry s phase then g2 so that in so in this again it is similar to mitosis all the processes will take place okay what is next so in meiosis 1 first there is so once the once the once the interphase is complete it will enter the cell division that is the cell division meiosis 1 in meiosis 1 first it will enter the nuclear division all right the first step do let me know if you guys are facing any lag issue okay Now, first, as it is the P mat formation, if you remember the P mat, that will take place. Now, this is meiosis one. We are having this one, so we will add in the Roman Roman letter one in each of the phase. So this will be one. This will be one. This will be one. This will be one. Okay. now what is prophase 1 prophase before it enters okay it's preparation in this case now this is this is the one this prophase 1 that is there this is where all the magic occurs with respect to this meiosis process this is where the process uh, the recombination that we talked about the regeneration uh, rejuvenation recombination is there occurs on in this prophase 1 phase single prophase 1 this is where it is the most complicated process 
and the longest in the phase in the neotic division. Okay, so remember that. Now this prophase one is further divided into five sub-stages. Now we are dividing it for our ease of understanding that what is going on, which phase is what. So there are five more sub-stages in that. There is leptotene, zygotene, pachytene, diplotene, and then dikinesis, LCPDD. Okay. So let's see. So features is now this is as I said the most complicated. This is the phase where all the magic occurs. So this is unique to to the meiosis process that is occurring over here. Okay. So this part there and whatever changes that are there, like for example about the combination, the genetic recombination that is there, the chromosomal recombination will occur over here before entering into the next phases. All right. So going to the next part let's see each of those sub stages so this is how it is divided in you have your leptotene over here then enters zygotene then enters pachytene diplotene diakinesis this is the sequence right this is how it goes once this process is these five stages are completed then we say the prophase one is complete and then we come across the next stages of the mat metaphase and the phase okay first one lepto team over here the lepto that is there this lepto means thin so in this what happens is this is the cell this is the nucleus okay now <clears throat> if i talk about chromosome like this so after interface Kushi ma'am, are you in? After interface, what will happen? This structure will become I think I had shown, uh, explained to you last class. I, okay. This is what will happen. Now this structure that is there, now this is how we are able to see, I've drawn this, okay? Now are you guys able to see any pointer thingy hovering over this structure? When I'm moving the mouse, are you guys able to see that? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, yes, thank you. Sir. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, good. So this one, in the case of leptotene that is there, it appears very thin. Let me try to change the color and see a little better. Almost like one. Now what I've drawn here looks like an X, correct? Like kind of like an X. But now in the case of leptotene, when it is forming, so this is, and these two are chromatids. Chromatids. So they appear together, not separate. And it, appear, and it appears very thin. So it will be like this. So these are all like sister chromatids are there, but they are not completely separated. It means we cannot distinguish it. That okay, it is appearing like X or it is doubled and all. And they gen these chromosomes generally converge near the centrosome. Okay, near if the centrosome, this is the nucleus and near the centrosome area. 
from where the spindle fiber will come in. Since they converge near that part, so what happens is, and they are spread out like this. So this appearance that is there, this appearance gives a feel like it is a bouquet. Like a bouquet. So many a times it is called like a bouquet effect. Not the camera one, the bouquet. That is a different. Okay. This is bouquet. It appears like a bouquet because there this over here the chromosome the. Oh, you and oh sorry, I didn't see you. Thank you, Josh. No, I. Okay. Oh. Joshna, are you in? Yeah, you are in. Okay, so this is how it is. So leptotein, what is happening is the chromosomes are formed. They are look, they appear very thin. So this is the name given as thin leptotein. Okay. So now let's see. So what is happening during this phase? The chromatin network condenses, resolves into long and thin threads. Okay. Let me just erase this. So it appears thin, so resolves into long thin threads like chromosome. Since they appear very thin, hence the name leptotene. Now, these chromosomes that are there, these chromosomal structures, they orient inside the nucleus in such a way nearly towards the centrosome. So hence if they appear bouquet. So in this bouquet stage, what is happening? The chromosomes appear to have converged towards the side of the nucleus where centrosome lies, as I showed to you in that rough diagram. Okay, so hence it appears like a bouquet, like it is converging, okay. and converging from there. So it appears like a bouquet, hence we give the name as bouquet stage. Then the centriole that is there, centrosome divides and try to migrate towards the opposite poles. So here what are we observing is there is formation of thin thread-like chromosomes, one part, and the centriole that is there is trying to migrate to the opposite pole slowly going towards this. This migration thing we have observed in the prophase of mitosis also. All right. mm, bad day for internet, I suppose. I see many, many students coming in the lobby. Hmm. So what is next? Oh, okay. Did you all understand about the leptotene part? Basically, it's just that the precursor, the first early stage of prophase, what we have seen in mitosis, the condensation is occurring, refolding is occurring, and they are resulting in formation of chromosome. And the chromosome appears very thinner. So the name we have given, leptotene. All right. So going to the next, next stage. Okay, so this is an image. So you see centriole. So generally these chromosomes try to be here. Now in this case, in this stage, in this leptotene, you will see the presence of nucleus. You will see the presence of nuclear membrane, All right? The disappearing act hasn't started yet, but then chromosome appearing act has started and they look very thin. So you can see in this image, the chromosome like, like a snake like appear diagram is shown, but it is, you cannot see the chromatids separate from each other. It appears like a one thread, right? So the chromatid, sister chromatids, they, we cannot distinguish them. Previous slide, Antaraji, okay. I know. Okay, thank you. Now coming to next one. If anyone wants to take a screenshot, quickly take one. Okay, next is zygotine. Now, anyone knows the meaning of zygo? Luck by chance. 
You have heard about zygote, right? Zygote. Fertilized ovum. Uh, that is zygote. I'm talking about zygote team. Okay. See, you have read about zygote. Very good. That is correct. What you said about zygote, fertilized ovum. Okay. Zygote. What is zygote? This is zygote formed by fusion of male, female. Correct. Fuse हो गया ना? So zygote means actually two. ठीक है? So zygotene stage जो है in this we see something that is double in two. How? Okay, not in the diplo way. So in this in this scenario, what is happening is cell is there. Nucleus is there. Sally, madam. Okay, so that is like goat. Okay, the goat, greatest of all time. Okay, what you have written there, I think Aman. That is like goat. No, I'm talking about the meaning. Like go, means like what? Ah, meaning in the sense literal one. So anyway, so ये बता दिया दो है. This presence of nucleus. Now in this, what we know is that, for example. Uh, out of that 23 pairs of chromosome, that is 46 chromosome. Correct me if I'm wrong. 23 is paternal, and 23 is maternal. Agreed. Right now, maternal means mother, paternal father. So father, mother. Yeah, that is how we are getting it. Now in this zygotene, what is happening? So what did we see in leptotene? There is formation of chromosome. Taking this as one chromosome. So now, I say, like this three chromosomes, for example, I'm giving this three chromosome is coming from father. Similar chromosome will be seen coming from mother. Okay. Similar will be seen coming from the mother. Now what will happen in zygotene? Leptotene mein ye patle hai. Okay, they definitely in leptotene, what is that? These are all having chromo chromatids. This is chroma having two sister chromatids. This is having two sister chromatids. These, even these three are having sister chromatids. Now in zygotene, what exactly is happening is, Say this is the first chromosome pair. This is the first chromosome pair. So these two will come close to each other. So what, whichever chromosome is from maternal origin, the first chromosome from maternal origin, first chromosome from paternal origin will come close to each other. Ek dusre ke kareeb a jayenge. Thik hai? To end result kya hoga? This is mother and father close to each other. Then close to each other. Then last one, the pairing. Did you guys get it? Why it is called zygotene? So, like in the case of fertilization, as Aman wrote, and I think it was Niranjan or Pratamesh who said, I'm not sure, remember the voice yet. 
so what is happening paternal maternal origin are coming close to each other so as a, as a groupism oh yeah oh circles are not formed okay the circles are not formed so like this now can i say this since they are pairing two so basically if we look zoom in more closer what we will observe is so there is like this there is like this close close there is like this close close then another one Okay. Now, such formation of the two, the homologous home means like the first pair, first pair with to each other, the second pair, second pair coming close to each other, third pair with third pair, one. So they will come close to each other in the paternal maternal origin format. So since they are pairing and dojan dikre eksat, the two of them are together. So this formation, this appearance is there also called as bivalence. They're also called as bivalence. Bi means two, in this case two. So the name zygotene is given because of these appearance, the two, two are coming close to each other. By joining, uh, they are coming close to each other, but they are not like becoming one. So, okay. All of you got this? So if I make it in this, sir, mm. sir lag. So what is bivalent? Oh, it lagged. Okay, bivalent. You can see this image. I think Niranjan, right? Yeah, Niranjan. If you see this image, you can see this. The father side red and mother side green are coming close to each other. So they appear two. They are like two of them are there. Correct. So this this combination, this uh, this closeness between the two chromosomes, so they form these groups, couples, jaise. So these couples are called as bivalents. Okay, sir. Okay. So okay like this appearance will come within the nucleus what we have observed so we have given this stage name as zygotene okay if anyone wants to take a screenshot just take it i will erase the diagram okay so we'll see yeah that so what is that homologous chromosome began to pair lengthwise. By the way, uh, you guys know what is this uh, homologous chromosome? Homologous means? You guys know what homo means? Same kind of, okay, homo is same. Very good, yes, homo is same. Logos. Mm, not structure. Uh, have you read? Uh, okay. Have you, you must have come across a term called as loci in mathematics long back when you were in like 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, when you had maths. I know some of you haven't taken maths. So some of you had maths, I guess, in school. Yeah, loci is location. Okay, so logos over here is location. Now location of what? Same location of gene. Okay, so ye jo hai a chromosome then chromosome so is in on this the position of the say this is the one gene the position of the gene will be same so can you make a guess if the location is different what will be the term for such chromosome uh, shamika ma'am you wrote no no for 
What was the meaning of lupus? Oh, okay. You you understood now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And Devangi, you're absolutely right. Uh, if it is not same, it will be called as hetero lupus. Uh, in tenth, you have studied sex determination. X X X Y. Yes, sir. Yes, all. So, classic example: X X homologous chromosome. X Y heterologous. Okay. So. What is it doing morphologically, genetically identical, similar chromosomes? So paternal, maternal origin come close to each other. This this closingness or this pattern that is formation is called as synapsis. Don't compare it with your synapse junction of nerves. Okay, I think last year you had this too in tenth coordination. So don't compare it with synapse of that. This is synapses where they are coming close to each other. Now such closeness is called as synaptonemal complex. Okay. Next, the pair at this stage, such pairing is called as bivalence or tetrad. Now tetrad, any idea why tetrad? I was gonna explain this term afterwards, but now that it has come up, can anyone make a guess why tetrad? Absolutely right, Rashmi. Yes, Ritisha, very good. Because when we observe it closely, what we see is the chromosome is like this. So one, two, three, four, tetrad. But in leptotene, they appear like this. So hence bivalent. Okay. Uh, any doubt tell you all understood about zygotene part the understand why the term zygotene and what is happening in that so to again to just summarize it homologous chromosomes come each other from where paternal maternal origin so they are morphologically genetically similar forming synapses synaptonemal complex when they are close resulting in and the term given to such pairing up such coupling we get it as bivalence okay next one so we saw leptotene we saw zygotene now in this the chromosomes are moving around but yet the nuclear membrane is not completely disappeared there is no process yet the nucleolus is visible now coming to this so this is bivalent forming so you see what this image is showing see same same red red blue blue the lengthwise here 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 they're all in couple you can see this given over here this is your synaptonemal complex synapses is occurring all right they are close to each other but not yet in physical contact Okay, next. Patchy team. Now, patchy team, patchy means thick. Lepto was thin, zygote was, zygotine was too. Patchy is thin okay so what is happening in patchy team during this phase there is condensation progresses as they become short and thick 
in leptotene we saw that they were appearing thin in this it is thick that is what this patch 18 is about they appear thin thick now what is happening since they appear thick so homolog now showed two chromatids so the bivalents now appear to be composed of four chromatids so now in zygotene in zygotene z phase the bivalents appear this way in patchy teen what is happening they are condensing more more condensation is occurring more folding is occurring so now they appear thicker so we are able to observe the presence of chromatids so now they appear four even though in this scene also it is like two to each is there but it is not visible so we call it as y balance now in patch it in this is much more clear very clearly visible so hence the term tetrad then what happens the twisting compact becomes compact resulting in breakage and rejoining of chromatids so there is crossing over exchange of genetic material between non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes wait so in this what it means to say is you have these better color so now this pink one and yellow one they are crossed so can i say they are non sister because they don't belong to the they belong to different chromosome they are homologous but of different chromosome all right so hence the term non sister who is involved this chromatid and this chromatid are involved so they are your non sister chromatids crossing over taking place they are overlapping with each other resulting in exchange of genetic content so that is what happens now how it is happening because of homologous nature same location genes are there so they can shift then the point what this statement is trying to say so the twisting is occurring becoming apparent resulting in breakage and rejoining of the chromatids going ahead All right the tetrad visible in patch 18 they become thicker so that for the bivalents will appear as four so this is this is the pin patch it patch 18 that is there the genetic recombination of parental characteristics takes place so what it means to say is uh for example And they are homologous chromosome say for example there is a, a we take one of the characteristic characteristic like which one should we take eye color okay eye color is the gene now there is person say that is brown and green so there is brown that is there is found on this location okay and the green that is there is found on this location now we take another characteristic um, 
Okay, let's take hair pattern. Okay. Curly hair. Straight hair. Okay. Now in this case, I am taking curly hair to be found in the father side, straight hair on the mother side. So father has what? Brown eyes and curly hair. Mother has what? Green eyes. This is a hypothetical situation. Please don't correlate with your parents or some friends' parents and friends' eyes. And this is just a hypothetical situation. Now in recombination, that is that this statement, what it means results in genetic recombination of parental characteristics. What will happen is, for example, during this process where they are overlapping and all, okay, this that is that this part that is your green color jumps onto the parents brown and brown shifts here. So what will happen now? And there is no change in the hair, hair pattern, no change. It remains as it is. There is no combination. So the new combination, what will be there? When they separate out, what will we find is father is having green and curly, mother is having blue and straight. So can I say that this is a new combination that is forming, which was not existent earlier? Are you getting the idea? The new, this genetic recombination for the parental characteristics. So parent has already has a combination. Now due to this process of genetic recombination, a new con, new arrangement is forming, a new group is forming. Okay, thank you, Devangi. Anyone wants me to explain it again? So is it necessary that one of the characteristics will be exchanged and one won't be? No, it is not necessary. This is just an example I showed. There is a chance that no recombination took place. Kuch bhi nahi Ajuba ju aaye, mile, ek ko haath mila hai, nikal liye. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh -huh. And there is a chance pura mix ho gaya. Kuch alagi ban gaya. But point is what I'm trying to stress on. Ki this step is important. This step occurs which results in combination, which results in mixing. Ye stage pe mixing ho raha hai. Abhi mixing ka outcome kuch ek naya combination banna, that is not necessary. Can occur, generally ho jata hai, because they are coming so close to some exchange will take place. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. All of you getting it? Or you want me to tell, uh, explain it again with the new combination? No, sir. Okay. Kushi ma'am, got it? And then now I'm understood. Thank you for writing it. Okay, so let's see. Dekh pe hai so the points where crossing over takes place, that is called a chiasmat. I will redraw and show you the name terminology. This is occurring with the help of an enzyme called as recombinase. Okay. So basically, what draw I draw? So what it means to say is, this is a chromosome. So in this, this part, what you see where they are crossing over, they are like overlapping over each other. Uh, basically, okay, 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 better diagram.
okay so this position that is there where they are combining this is called as chiasmata it depends on context on where we are using generally yeah, both are used similarly but chiasma you will find in nerve nerve chapter also in neurons generally go hand in hand but then prefer to use chiasmata all right basically literal sense meaning is what you know crossing over point the point where they are crossing basically that so us that point so you can say you know in a kind of you can say both are similar meaning to you okay crossing over now who is helping in this the enzyme recombinase the name is given because there is recombination occurring over here all right I think this explains in a better way. So now what is what where are we? We saw this formation. Sorry, in zygotine, these two are coming close to each other. Pachytene, we are able to see them as separate chromatids. In pachytene, again, what is happening is they are uh, intertwining with each other it's like uh i think girls can understand the braiding of the hair you know that pony not ponytail you intertwine the hair together to tie them together so that is what is happening so that is a crossing over so this junction will yeah braid thank you ananya the braid this junction is your chiasmata formation all right now over here what is it said now this is the outcome this part that is the outcome so some portion of this is in this and some portion of the blue one is in the red so this chromatid and this chromatid is recombined some mixing has taken place and whereas the other chromatid this one and this one is remaining the original how it was this is a unique characteristic observed in meiotic division we don't see it in mitotic division what is the benefit of this there is a chance some new adaptation comes in new feature comes in okay for that reason this variation will then what lead to a process called as evolution so this is a characteristic and this is like if you have if you remember from last years this reproduction chapter that sexual reproduction uh, pro helps or uh, promotes variation so with variation there is a chance of better survivability for the organism in the ever changing environment then you read about cross pollination where also crossing is occurring from two different the same thing variation is the chances of the plant survival increases same thing the variation this part okay crossing over same thing prophase one within the meiosis so basically what is happening is what we are getting over here as i said a new kind of chromosome to say technically so the new child that is formed has that is the reason what happens is the child that is developing the newborn child will have characteristics of both mother and father in that though many times we say that 
the child looks more like the father or more like the mother you know many of you might have got compliment i'm thinking it as a compliment that you are a carbon copy of your mother or father but exactly you are not there are slight changes but yeah 70 80% you may look same so that slight change is because of this step that is crossing over clear all of you like you want me to explain any part again in this patchy team clear okay crystal clear good now coming to diplo so diplo means well two that double double in this case all right zygote the two things were coming to each other that means in zygote what was happening was zygotene not zygote zygotene the homologous chromosomes were coming close to each other now diplotin stage you are giving the name so because it appears that two of them are there now once the crossing over is done chiasmata has formed crossing over is done mixing is done now what will happen they will go away from each other because they are away from each other so we, now in this scenario what we can see is there is a chromosome like this there is another chromosome so we can see them as a separate entity we can see that two chromosomes are intertwined so we say like diplotin double they are visible like that that's the name diplotin okay so that is what is about the yeah diplotin part then you are called so in this case this process where they are separating will be called as Di synapses, opposite of synapses. In synapses, what was happening? Oh, the di. Okay, I will show it again. Uh, in synapses, see, in <coughs> pachytene, what we saw was it was like this. In zygotene, what we saw was that they came close to each other. so in patchy teen what we saw the synaptonemal complex has formed and they are overlapping with each other okay now in diplotene what is happening ek dusre ko nafrat kar rahe hain they are going away from each other reverse of synapses recombination is done now we will go back okay so this is d synapses so you can see they came close overlapped whatever material they wanted to exchange not exchange depending on that they shook their hand did it then they are going parting their ways so it is separating but they are still connected but they are separating ahead means like they are uh, going away from each other that is what separation is occurring so this is d synapses all right now in this stage in this stage up till patchy teen that was there we were not able to we were able to see the membrane and nucleolus but now what we observe is they are slowly doing the disappearing act from diplotene onwards 
okay now one fun fact is that uh next year you will do this i think in reproduction chapter when you will study human reproduction in detail now mm, you have studied puberty right i guess last year something about menstrual cycle in females and all yeah. so thank you so what happens is in the female when she is in the womb this statement is saying what the oocyte sounds of some vertebrates the protein can last for months or years so in a pregnant lady if the baby developing is female so what happens is during the development process uh, these uh excel development starts it starts but then what happens is when this excel development that is ovum you mentioned right earlier one of you mentioned i think it was niranjan who said ovum non fertilized ovum the excel when its development starts it goes on and then after the, during the pregnancy process it goes on and stops at this diploty pauses at this diploty and the cast cell idhar aake ruk gaya uske baad pause then what happens is after that the child is born she reaches the age of around puberty when her first menstrual cycle starts that time diploting uske baad aage ka step continue hota hai getting the point what this statement is trying to say it is connected with the reproductive process yes wow okay it is like that so this okay uh what and i'm i'm uh, percentage i'm explaining the statement that is there so what we saw right now is that cell has participated in meiotic division has entered it and step by step enter the prophase 1 prophase 1 ke andar after entering prophase 1 it went to leptotin yeah last sentence that is this statement i'm coming to that then it went to zygotin pachytin diploty now in the certain vertebrates for example like human okay when the baby is like in the human the female is pregnant and the baby is developing within the mother's womb and that baby is female girl child so when the baby is developing the girl child is developing in the womb in the uterus so that time the process of oocyte oocyte uh, is your you can say leads to ovum formation egg cell banega so egg cell banne ke it is it has participated in the process of egg cell formation but it comes to the stage of diploting and pauses it does not go further stops over there stop stop pauses over there okay so cell has entered the cell division but paused midway and it paused till when the it is occurring within the baby girl baby in the uterus and once she is born she will grow develop increase in height and everything and once she reaches puberty first menstrual cycle the mean arc works you know that time it will continue further when the mean arc comes in the first menstrual cycle comes in that time it will continue uh, unpause from diploting and enter the next stage all right prathamesh and others got it the meaning of this statement yes sir thank you okay ha huh. over the next okay so this is diploting what is next It's one and the same. I yeah, the, there is not much. So this is diploting. So we are able to see the chromosome. Oh, you want a screenshot? Okay. I erase the diagram.
Look at me next. Last stage, I got it. Diakinesis. You read about kinesis, correct? So it like separates. So in this case, they condense, shorten, okay? The nucleolus disappears further, the nuclear membrane disappears further, and the chiasma and everything just comes to the end and they slowly break off. So basically in this, what is happening? Okay, so we saw leptotene, okay? Then we saw bivalent formation. Then this is about zygotene pagetine. Then we saw in diplotene what was happening. Yeah. So now what is this? In this section, what we observe is it is somewhere in the middle. Okay, the crossing over stage or connection is somewhere in the middle. In diakinesis, what is happening? Okay, so at the terminal position, at the end of the chromatids and nearly end. So they have started separating, 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 reach the end. And later on, they just break off, separate from each other. So that is your diakinesis. Okay. Okay. So this is what the separated proceeds, the, they are getting separated, the homologous chromatids that are there, the chromosomes that are there, they will try to separate further. Okay, somebody got blocked out, okay. So, separated at the terminal part over here and it is reaching the end part so that is called as your terminalization and they separate from each other okay then what is happening nucleus and all these nuclear membrane in this stage completely disappear marking the completion of the prophase if you remember from mitosis the prophase stage that is there so that is all right and kinetic spindle becomes a, uh, apparent. Basically, what is happening? The central centriole they have reached towards the equatorial, sorry, the polar ends, and they are getting in the formation of releasing the aster, becoming aster, uh, aster-like appearance. The spindle fibers are released to attach to the centromere. Okay. Got the point. Okay. So we'll proceed further. So marking the end of your prophase one. Todiakinesis, all right. 
the chiasma mater is broken, the chiasma is broken, centrioles that are centrosomes are on the equatorial, uh, sorry, polar end, and they are releasing the spinal fiber to attach to the chromosome. Sorry, <clears throat> the spindle fibers come in next. Uh, okay, everyone got to the screenshot. So this is again back to that summary. First, leptotein. So you see thread-like structure, zygotene. The homologous chromosomes come close to each other from your parental and maternal origin. In pachetene, they Okay, in zygotene, they are forming the synapses, the synaptonormal complex where they are coming close to each other. In pachetene, they are crossing over each other, overlapping like a braid and resulting in genetic recombination. Genes are getting mixed. Then in diplotin, they start separating from each other. So they appear quite clear, like two separate entities. So hence the name diplotin. And in the diplotene, the, the nucleolus, nuclear membranes start the act of disappearance, the vanishing act. Diakinesis marks the completion of the homologous recombination step. Okay, the chias mater that is there, the crossing over part, the connection, they are coming towards at the terminal region and they separate. So, terminalization is there, the, the nucleolus, nuclear membrane vanishes. All right, so any query till here regarding the prophase one, the sub steps or sub stages of the prophase one? Any part you want me to explain again? Okay, thank you, Ananya, Shamika. Okay. Hello, fair, we'll go out next. Now coming to the next part. Next part is what? So till now what we discussed was only prophase one. The magical step of meiosis where this recombination is occurring, exchange of genes, uh, location is location in the sense of the same location, the variety is changing. So if the gene of eye color is there, brown, blue, green, hazel, whatever color is there, will get mixed. Okay, hair type is there, skin color is there, they will get mixed. So that is what is happening in prophase one, the five-step process. Leptotein, zygotein, pachetein, diplotein, dikinesis. Once the prophase one is done, now after prophase one, generally what happens is the chromosomes are become visible clearly nucleolus disappears nuclear membrane disappears the centrioles move towards the polar and start forming the spindle fibers now in metaphase one what is happening spindle fibers are well developed so in this case if we remember the metaphase that is there from your mitosis so if this is there the chromosome, they will come on the equatorial plane, slowly arrange themselves. And the centrioles, centrosome, they will release their spindle fiber, fibers. Okay. I think this is what we had observed in mitosis. So the tetrads move towards the equator. They orient themselves on the equator in such a way that centromeres of homologous tetrads lie close to the poles and arms of the equator. So this is what we observe in mitosis, similar, right? Now on close observation, what it means to say the tetrad in the sense, now in meiosis, ka, meiosis one ka metaphase one, mein, kya ho hai? You have your
okay so this is one chromosome same internal side another chromosome another chromosome another chromosome no Now, with this, as we saw, there is the synapses formation close to each other. They are coming close to each other, the paternal, maternal part. We will have other one also like this, okay? Very close to each other. They are not overlapping, okay? This, I'm just showing for diagram. That doesn't mean they are not overlapping. Remember this, overlap nahi hai. Or, yeah, there, who are those people? Yeah, the over here. From here, they will bind to these centromeres. Okay, same comes like this. All of you are with me till here. So they are tetrad. Getting the point, tetrad, two sets of chromosomes are there. So four chromatids, okay. Next, what? Now, due to increasing repulsive forces, they are ready to separate. Now, as we saw in the case of diplotene and dikinesis process, the homolo after the homologous recombination, they repel each other. They are going away from each other, moving from away from each other due to difference in the charges. Okay. Due to difference on the proteins charges, the nucleic acid charges that are there, we get a positivity on that basis. So they're going from away from each other. So ready to separate. So they align themselves same as in metaphase as we saw in mitosis. They are aligning in the equatorial region. Polar ends, you have got the centrioles which are releasing the spindle fibers. Then next. So till here, all of you got it. Do you, anyone wants me to explain this further again? Okay, thank you. Anyone else? No. So we'll proceed ahead. Himansh, Ratamesh. Okay, thank you for the response. Now what we are doing is we are kind of revising our mitosis part. Okay. A new aspect whatever was there so you see here as i drew this diagram they are drawing in a i drew it vertically they did it horizontally so the tetrad that is the homologous pairs that are there mother and father origin they are close to each other and each of these pairs these spindle fibers are attached to it this is what is happening in the me metaphase one of meiosis one this is one first phase Next, what is there? After metaphase one, we will have our anaphase. Anaphase. Anaphase, what is happening? The fibers contract and pull the homologous structures away from each other. Now, if you remember when we discussed that mitosis, okay? Okay, well, if you remember, we discussed that mitosis. Uh, okay, Devangi, ma'am, you want break. Mm. Can I explain anaphase and telophase, then give a break? Is it okay, all right with you guys? Yeah? Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for ah, obliging. Thank you. Okay, so in anaphase, if you remember from mitosis anaphase, what we saw was that this is the, the chromosome. This is the chromosome. This is another chromosome. 
in anaphase what was happening next step this centromere was breaking and sister chromatids were separated all right this is what we saw last week if you remember now in this anaphase that is there the anaphase of meiosis 1 what happens is what we have is we have got and we have got this paired of chromosomes all right so they are aligned pulling them next step what happens in the anaphase one of meiosis one instead of such thing it will not happen this way instead of breaking the centromere instead of separating the chromatids sister chromatids the whole chromosomal pair is separated Okay. All right. Either chala gaya. This will go this way. So you see how in how what the difference is between the anaphase of mitosis and the meiosis that is anaphase one. Chromatids are not breaking apart. They are not separated. They are staying intact. See, it is staying intact, intact, intact. This is the step. which is resulting in reducing or the reduction jo humne padha tha what we saw earlier reduction division this is the step causing the reduction the chromatids are not breaking unlike in mitosis all of you are understanding the difference this is for mitosis but meiosis one this is what is happening the chromosomes are go separating in a intact manner to ho gaya na 46 or 23 the okay next oops let me erase this okay the centromeres do not divide this is a very very important point to know they are not dividing then this stage homologous chromosomes which are still attached as chiasma are finally separated this junction they are separating from each other okay basically what is this disjunction talking about you are so you have this chromosome like this another chromosome which are attached to the end abhi kya ho gaya dur dur chale gaye unko juda kar diya hai okay that is what is happening that is what this is what disjunction is Now each chromosome is with two chromatids. Material exchange over that genetic recombination between these two red and white exchange has taken place. <coughs> Sorry, they have each have one centromere. All right, but the chromatids are not separating from each other; they are intact. So half the chromosome number gather at respective poles. So this is the stage where the reduction is occurring. Yeah, okay, half half reduce over. all right distribute ho gaya next comes so you see this they are separating they did not divide unlike in mitosis chromosome move towards the end of the towards the spindle fibers towards the centromere centriole then your telophase one they are called to form chromatin they are forming uh, chromatin that is a spindle fiber disappears followed by reappearance of nuclear membrane so basically what will happen is in this screenshot of diagram oh okay 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 take it quickly okay thank you okay now telophase last slide which one prathamesh 
ha huh. if you mean from break point of view this is the slide i will be pausing here sir ana phase 1 ana phase 1 oh okay okay thank you dekh lo okay sir thank you sir yeah okay all right now telophase me what is happening in this case the cell is cell hai those nuclear membrane aa gaya uncoil mixed up ho gaya pura theek hai maggi noodle jaisa ban gaya sab okay that is what your telophase ho gaya then lastly cytokinesis one basically it's like what the separation that is happening the cell division do cell ban gaya all right so okay i am keeping the slide here taking a pause here so you guys can take your break uh, now the time i see is kya baje hai 5 6 okay so we meet again how much break you need 10 minutes is fine 15 minutes oh my god ah see the negotiation okay fine then 5 20 fourteen minutes will do just like round off all right guys 520 now it is 56 in my watch 520 we will see again i'm i am pausing the recording okay Uh, Prathamesh, I got your point. The website was not working. I, others, anyway, I will give one more after we complete this. So, हम लोग कहाँ थे? Yeah, telophase cytokinesis. Telophase one is often okay. Telophase we ended at telophase. Telophase basically is that uh, similar to your mitosis part. The chromosomes are separated. Nuclear membrane has come back. Nucleus lens has come back. All right, reappearance coming. Two daughter nuclei has formed. Now next will be what? The cytokinesis. Cytokinesis separation of the cell. That is the cytoplasm will be divided, and then two new 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 daughters whole proper cell will form. Okay, daughter cell will be formed. Now in plants there will be cell plate formation, whereas in the case of <coughs> uh, animals it will be cleavage formation. That From periphery towards the center in plant, it is from center to the periphery. Now, in the after the end of meiosis one, the cell will have half the chromosomes. Okay, they are having half the chromosome because here the chromosomes are not separate. The chromatid sister chromatids are not separated. Chromosome is pura chala gaya. Okay, unka double copy hai, but chromosome has been separated. So this this phase of the meiosis one. is considered <clears throat> this phase of meiosis 1 is considered as reduction part okay haploid ho gaya now they have become haploid next step is what the chromatids are there right next step is what the sister chromatids are there now the sister chromatids will be separated and distributed so reduction is done now just that since we have got two two copies of dna anyway so we will just separate it and give it to each of the cells that is the next part Okay, <clears throat> so cleavage furrow that is from periphery towards the center in the animal cells, from center to the periphery in the plant cells. Okay, now coming to the next step of meiosis, homotypic. first one was what first phase was heterotypic because the daughter cells that are forming they are getting they are not getting the equal quantity of chromosome as the parent okay now in this case what will happen homotypic they are getting the equal amount or the similar processes there equal division now this there is a short resting period interkinesis between inter means between kinesis means division so between division whatever <clears throat> time frame is there my if it or if there is a break if there is a lag between the two divisions of the meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 it is called as interkinesis all right 
Now, same thing as meiosis one. There are two. The cell division process is divided into two parts. First is karyokinesis. Second is cytokinesis. Okay. Abhi jo hai, now, right now, what will happen is we will kind of revise the mitosis in a way. So we have got karyokinesis, cytokinesis, prophase two. What is prophase two? Now under meiosis also it is PMAT. Prophase two, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then entering in cytokinesis. All right. Okay, so in prophase two, what are we having? Having the chromosomes with the two chromatids become distinct. Now, before the cell enters this division part, one thing you need to understand is between meiosis one and two, there is no interphase. Growth phases, gap phases, synthesis phases are absent. They are not present. They are not happening. The DNA is not getting replicated. DNA is not getting duplicated. Okay, another copy of DNA is not made. It's just that one division done. They took a breather, went for the next. So that is the next. So chromosomes are already having sister chromatids attached to it. So chromo, that means the DNA is already duplicated to DNA is present. So in this case, the chromat chromosomes condense again. The chromatin that is there condensing again and resulting in formation of chromosome. Two chromatids become distinct. And the centriole that is there divides into two resulting in formation of Two centriole. Now, in this scenario, the centriole replicates. The centriole is replicating because we need the two opposite polar ends, which will be attached to the centromere and separate the chromosome. So, hence the centriole will divide, which will migrate to the opposite pole, resulting in formation of aster by forming the spindle fibers or form between the okay, <clears throat> will attach to the centromere. And the nucleolus nuclear membrane disappears. So, similarity what is the similar that this phase, the prophase 2, is quite similar to the prophase of mitosis. Difference being that in this one point is that centriole is dividing and forming two centrioles. Generally, the centriole formation, the duplicated centriole formation, occurs in interphase. But since interphase is not there between the two divisions of the meiosis, that is meiosis 1, meiosis 2. So centriole is replicating and forming two within the prophase two of meiosis two. And rest all is very, very similar to the prophase of mitosis. Any questions, any doubt till here? Anyone here wants me to explain this part again? No response. Are you guys able to hear me? Yes. Yeah. So, do you want me to explain this again or shall I proceed ahead? So, the aster part. Aster part. Okay. Aster, let me then start this. So, this is the cell. This is, I'm drawing this dotted line for nucleus because, as it mentioned, it disappears. The nucleolus disappears. So, I'm just giving dot, 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 dot. Now, it, what it said is centriole divides. So there is formation of centriole. Where another centriole, this centriole will move towards the pole. This centriole will move towards the pole. Okay, pole ke pas chale jayenge, duplicate So I'm wrapping this off. Okay, number of chromosome. Okay, Niranjan, I'll come to it. Let me just explain this for Shamika. I think Shamika was the one who said that. Okay, so. Now from this, what will, what will arise, you know, spindles will arise. Okay, Shamika, you can see this green, green lines that I'm drawing. So like this, So agar mein, if I make this outside the cell, the aster formation that is, this is, this is the centriole I'm drawing, what do you see, this green blob. And from this, spindle fibers are radiating. Now, if you remember, about star that is glittering in the sky okay they glitter mm, and who asked chinmay okay no me shruti shruti okay thank you shruti okay i didn't see the name so shruti if you see this 
like the stars, what they do, they glitter and they radiate light out. So this centriole looks like that. The centrosome looks like that. It is radiating the lines out. The lines are radiating out like a star. Hence the name Aster is given. Okay. Sir. All right. Mm -hmm. Hence the name Aster. So they form between Asters. The spindle fibers are coming between these. So this structure that is there, this structure that is there is called as Aster. The spindle fibers are forming between the aster like this now they will form in now what okay and coming to the chromosome number okay this okay so chromosome number now in meiosis what is happening meiosis okay okay let me first check this next slide oh, it's blank okay so meiosis has me meiosis before the cell enters before the cell enters 23 pairs 46 chromosome correct 46 chromosome that is how it is now it will undergo interface double ho jayega. so what will happen is 46 chromosomes are there okay but 92 chromatids here the chromosomes are like this okay in after interface chromosomes are like this all right, all of you getting this point. Now, once the cell enters meiosis to mate. Again, I'm keeping it 46 chromosome. Chromosomes are 46, but chromatids are 92. Here, chromosomes are 46. Here, chromatids are 46. Here, 46. And in this case, 92. Now after meiosis one, it is 23. Only 23 of these are there. Getting the point? Now, oops, oops, oops. This is meiosis one. Now, Seeing the difference, what is happening? Or do you want me to redraw, re-explain this? No, see, no, understood, sir. Mm -hmm. See, guys. Uh, yeah, thank you, Niranjan. See, this is single chromosome. All right. This is chromosome again, but with chromatid in this part. This is again with chromatid being separated. So 46 or 23 ogya. It became 23 because half have gone. Now, in the case of meiosis 2, what is happening is just that this is splitting. So, chromosome number remains 23. So, you're getting the point why this stage is called as reduction. Okay. If you want, you guys can take a screenshot. And I will erase this. Okay, I will count and fire All right, then I'm clearing this, moving on ahead. If anyone, okay, I will proceed ahead. Chalo, okay. Next. So, prophase two, we are talking about prophase two, nuclear membrane and nucleus fragments that are there. Yeah, no problem, Niranjan. So, spindle fiber will form, central move towards the opposite pole. Okay, similar to mitosis ka prophase. Next, metaphase two. What is happening? Chromosomes are getting arranged at equator. What is happening? The two chromatids of each chromosome, they separate by division of centromere. Okay, the spindle fiber attached to centromere. 
some are arranged end to end to opposites. Okay, so basically in this, as we saw in the meta phase of mitosis, nuclear membrane and everything is gone. We have got your centriole, centriole. Then you have got your equator. If I consider this as pole, okay, guys, this is polar region, polar end, because wherever central. So this will be equator. Agreed? Okay. Now spindle fiber will be attached. Attach, attach, attach. Okay. Okay. This is your metaphase two. Any doubt? Or anyone wants me to explain this again? Thank you, Ananya, for the response. Okay, next. So I'm removing this. Wait, if anyone wants to screenshot, please take it. Clearing it on the next. Chromosomes align along equator of the cell. All right, they are aligning, aligning. Now NFS two. So this you got it right. The image imagery part along the equator. Oh, the way I have drawn is showing that way. Then NFS two. NFS two. What was happening in NFS of mitosis? Chromosomes are separating. The chromatids now will separate. Okay, the chromatids are separated as it is written here. Chromatid now called daughter chromosome. Well, sister chromatids are separated from each other. The centromere, that is the, the where the attachment is there, they will break apart. You want me to show the diagram metaphase? Which one? The hand drawn or the image? Okay, this is the image. We'll take it so, Okay. So they move towards the pole by shortening the fibers, elongation into chromosome fibers that are there. Now, before we go to telophase two, what is happening here? Mm -hmm. As we saw, Then we have got these. So what happens in this scenario is that the metaphase, these cells, were, uh, the chromosomes were arranged this way. Now over here, what we will observe is the chrome sister chromatids will break apart and separate. Okay, and they will be attached. So these spindle fibers will shorten in length and pull the chromosomes apart. The chromosomes will be separated, the chromatids apart, chromatids will separate. Okay, it's anaphase. Shall we proceed ahead? Uh, any query, Talia? No, sir. Yeah. Okay. 
No. Okay. Thank you. Now where the boy had Telo phase two. We are back to Telo phase very quickly. In Telo phase, the will again gather at the poles and uncoiling, just like in every Telo phase we have seen. The chromosomes will uncoil, become chromatin fiber, become, appear like Maggie noodles when you make it, the Maggie part. Okay, that is what will happen. Uh, then the nucleolus nuclear membrane will come back, each around the chromosome forming two daughter nuclei. So two nucleuses are formed. Then, okay, if you want to take a screenshot, take it now. Okay, next. See, separated at anaphase, it is like this. They have been taken away, V shape. Sister chromatid separate and move to opposite pole. Okay. If anyone wants a screenshot, take it. Okay, here we go on ahead. This is about the telophase and again telophase is over and this constriction you see it is resulting in again cytokinesis. So after telophase it will again proceed to a cytokinesis. In this cytokinesis too what will happen same thing they will constrict result in formation of two cells. Okay two new cells will form. Pattern is same in plant, there will be formation of cell plate in the middle. So from the center towards the periphery, in the case of animal cell, it will be from periphery towards the center, forming a cleavage furrow. So that is what cytokinesis 2 is. So what will happen in this? Why four cells are forming in this case? Okay, they are saying four cells because first cell took part. Okay, uh, gave two cells. Then each of these cells again, the chromatids got separated, resulting in two new cells each. So you are saying because of two cell division process, one, two. So, two, four new cells are formed at the end, hence four haploid. So, the genetic content over here is one set compared to the parent cell. Since, there are, since the chromosomal set is half of the parent cell and the cell participating is diploid, so the end result of the daughter cells that are forming at the end of the meiosis 1 and 2 will be haploid, half the chromosomal content. Okay, now, okay, before I go to significance, any query, anything with respect to this? No, okay. Niniranjan and Shamika has no query, rest on, did even like bounce or just slid off? Okay. Understood. Thank you, Devangi. So, uh, okay, we will then proceed. What we are coming, just like we saw the significance of mitosis, we will see significance of meiosis. What is the main significance? It is the process to produce haploid. We will get haploid gametes. Then it also helps in maintaining the chromosome number constant. We will now begin diffusion. Then genetic recombination leading to variation and evolution. Okay. So first and foremost important point is 
haploid. It is useful for making gametic cells which are having harmful genetic content. Then maintain chromosome number. For example, say my parents have 46 chromosome, that is my father plus mother, and cell is not performing meiotic division. Straight away, that is mother, male, female, fuse, fertilization over, zygote formed. What will happen? 92. Then, say for, say for argument purpose, that 92, okay, successful new organism formed. When this comes across another one with 92, no division. Next one will be what? 184, if I'm correct with the math. Okay. But this is not is what is happening. This is not what is the case. Rather, what happens is, what we observe is, it is 46, even the 46, it is 46. That means instead of 46, it is 23 and 23. That means this division meiosis is helping that. So the chromosome number remains same throughout each new generation that is forming from one generation to the next, to the next and so on and so forth. So meiotic division is helping in maintaining that. Now this part that is there with respect to genetic recombination i explained earlier the crossing over how it is helping it is helping in bringing out variation bringing out new varieties changes and also pro help, helping and supporting evolution okay so three important significance we have got <clears throat> haploid formation maintain chromosome number and variation and evolution so moving ahead Factors that control cell cycle. Proteins are pre present over here. These proteins are there which will control the cell cycle, which will control the cell processes. Like for example, cyclin helps in the process towards whether the cell will go into G0 or G1, again back into G1. Okay, these are the proteins which are controlling the cellular process towards the cell division. Then enzymes like cyclin dependent kinase, these CDK are important enzymes, which are again controlling the activity of cell division and process. Okay. So this cyclin's maturation promoting factor, they, <clears throat> they are involved in, they are involved in the process of cell division. They are involved in checkpoints uh, we had checkpoints or restriction points where it makes sure that if a cell has reached that point, then okay, everything is good to go for the next one. It's uh, to keep a check that a cell division process is going properly. <clears throat> the cells are not turning cancerous and there is no wastage of energy also. Unnecessarily, it is not duplicating the DNA. Unnecessarily, it is not duplicating the organelles only when it is required. Okay, and this is the summary of mitosis and meiosis. Okay. Any queries for meiotic cycle? Any questions, anything? No, no, okay. Okay, guys, so I am, yes? Sexual, the sexual recombination occurs in patchetin, right? Which one? Sexual? No, it is genetic recombination, not sexual recombination. Sorry, genetic, genetic. Sorry, genetic. Yeah, yeah it's uh, yes, patchy team. Correct. That time it is overlapping. So we want to see it from the point of view. You need to, uh, if you talk talk about anaphase, metaphase, telophase, these are basically similar. Okay. 
in meiosis the most complicated part or the step or the subtopic of meiosis is prophase 1 all right prophase 1 where like five subsets are there leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene dikinesis where did you read it paradox so it's like a uh, figure of speech no Yes. Yeah. So what is the meaning of paradoxically then Prathamesh? I'm not getting a question. Uh, paradox is like contra uh, contradicting to itself. Like for example, if I say a statement, this statement is false. If this, okay. Yeah, paradox is like controversial. It is like ambiguity. Go, um, like, how do I give an example for that? Yeah. Like for example, I'm saying the statement is false. So as I, as I was explaining earlier, chromosome number remains the same, okay? So 46 chromosome is there, but then due to the synthesis phase that the meiosis is facing as having the step, so the uh, DNA duplicates and there is formation of 92 chromatids. Hmm? Hatched. See. This is single chromosome, 46 chromatids, 46 chromosome. Once the S phase occurs, there is a formation of, that is your 92 chromatids. All right. So in meiosis one, what happens is, in meiosis one, what happens is, of these 46, 46 chromosome, 23 is being distributed to each of this daughter cell. In meiosis 2, what happens is these chromosomes are separated and changed. Yes, I hope you are able to hear me clearly. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So getting the point, what this video is trying to explain till now? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, so we will proceed. I with, sorry, with the, so as we were saw in that, that you are talking about non disjunction non disjunction so i think few minutes extra won't do any harm right so okay now thank you now anaphase 1 in this what was happening the chromosomes that is there Oh my God. Okay. Uh, give me, I will try to do it in a, as fast as possible. Okay. Okay. Two minutes at 630 go. All right, Prathamesh. So they are arranged like this close to each other. Now, if I zoom this, the arrangement is how? Okay. Thank you, Prathamesh. Now, this is how the arrangement is. All right. So now what happens in anaphase? They are arranged in equatorial plane. Over here, you have the spindle fiber attached. Here, there is the spindle fiber attached and aster formation. Now, anaphase page of Jaya, when it will go into the anaphase enter from So what we observe is, okay. Now, 
Now this part, ये जो जगह, this is what is the junction. In anaphase, anaphase ideally what is supposed to happen is the chromosome should separate. Now this is what disjunction is. This is what disjunction means. Now what I have shown over here is these are separated. These are separated. Okay, but see this one has not. All right. So this is called as non-disjunction. So new daughter cell that will form now will have an extra chromosome in that. So if by chance that that cell is been used for fertilization, so whatever uh, zygote forms will have an extra chromosome. If that develops into an embryo, fetus, then a baby, then we'll have some may will have some genetic uh, issues like Down syndrome is one of the clear example. Okay, guys. Uh, Any more query? So we are okay. Himansh, Priya se bol raha. Okay, ठीक है. एक मिनट ज़्यादा हो गया. Sorry, sorry. एक मिनट ज़्यादा ले लिया. So then. Uh...